Google just launched Firebase Studio, which allows you to create a fully functional app with literally just one prompt and a click of a button, and you don't have to know how to code. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly how to use this tool, a bunch of different features it has, and I'm gonna walk you through a bunch of different use cases. Now to get started with this tool, all you have to do is come to studio.firebase.google.com and then you are going to see this screen right here. And from here, there are several different things that you can do. First and foremost, you are gonna be able to see all of your different workspaces and all the different prototypes that you've built and apps right here. You'll also be able to see the last time it was accessed and you could share them, you could delete them, you could rename them, or you could reset them. In addition to that, you can see all the other different Studio Firebases that have been shared Shared with you right here. If you come over here, you're going to see how you actually prompt this. You can upload images here if you want it to be built based on something, or you could just type in a simple prompt. Now, the more complex that you make your prompt with features and things along the lines of that, the better that this is actually going to be able to create things for you. In addition to that, they have a bunch of different sample prompts right here. So what I'm gonna do is click on this. We could see this sample prompt actually come up. I'm gonna click prototype with AI, and then I'm gonna open up a new window while this is actually going through and this is creating this. So as we can see right here, this is going through, this is beginning to actually build up the environment in which it's going to be created. And now it looks just like a chat bot. It comes through right here. It named what it is. It put in a bunch of different features. It has a style guideline. And if we want, we could click on edit right here and we could come in here and change anything that we want about this. Change the core features, change the style guide. And something I would suggest that you do is I would copy this. I would bring it over into ChatGPT or a Gemini window and say, hey, I'm building an app. These are the core features. This is the style guidelines. Can you please critique this? Can you please make it better? This is my goal. And then it is going to build you an even better prompt you can put in here. You're then going to click save and then click prototype this app. Now it is literally going to go through and it is going to begin building this and it builds it in just a few seconds. Now, while that is doing that, I did want to open up a new window just so I could show you a few other things that you could do over here. So if we come over to a new window, you will be able to see that you can also create a new workspace here. You could start with a template or a empty workspace. You could import different Git repos or upload your own project. And you could begin coding in all of these different places right here if you wanted to. But I prefer this all for the no code features because I think that they're pretty incredible. So if we come back over here, we're going to see that this is almost actually done building this out. You could see all the different files that this has created. And if you want to make any changes here, you literally just describe the changes. Now, I do want to be completely honest with you. There are a few things that this might run into an error with. But it's actually incredibly easy to fix when it does that. It will literally just say that an error occurred and then you literally just click fix error and it goes through and actually fixes the error. It's pretty crazy. In addition to that, sometimes it needs a Gemini API key. Just click on auto generate right here and it is gonna go through and actually generate that Gemini API key. And then it's going to tell you that it's complete. It's going to tell you that your app is ready to go. And by the way, if we come over here, we can click on publish right here and you'll be able to publish the app once it's actually done. You do need to pay for that because you're gonna to have to pay for hosting. So you're going to have to link a cloud billing account and you're gonna to have to set up an environment, but you could publish this straight from within here. In addition to that, if we come over here, you will also be able to get the link for this. You'll be able to get a nice QR code for this. You can make the preview public, or you could come right here and actually be able to share this and see what it looks like in just its own screen. And if we come over here, we'll be able to see that we could type in a list of ingredients here, or if we wanted to, we could actually add an image onto this so it can capture things and then we can upload images of ingredients that we have or just give out a list of ingredients. For example, I'm gonna type in chicken, I'm gonna put salt, I'm gonna put pepper, I'm gonna put rice, I'm gonna put brown peppers. I don't know what brown peppers are, but let's see what kind of recipe this generates. So now we click on recipe right here, and this is gonna go through and generate a bunch of different recipes that we can use. Now, obviously, this is very basic right here. This shows off the functionality. You're gonna to have to go through and chat with this in order to fix the UI, in order to make it pretty, because we didn't actually do that in 
the prompt that we provided this with. Now, before I show you a bunch of different cool use cases for this, I need you to smash that subscribe button if you wanna stay up to date on the latest and greatest AI tools. I upload videos like this literally every single day. In addition to that, the launch special for AI Automation School is ending tonight. You can go to the pinned comment below right now in order to get that special launch pricing. If you wanna get personalized feedback on exactly how you should be using these tools for your specific situation, I strongly suggest you check it out. Now, in terms of actually making this website right here as useful as humanly possible so that you can start to take advantage of this tool basically immediately I have two different prompts that I would strongly suggest that you use on Gemini so if we come over to Gemini right here I'm actually going to show you these prompts because I think they're going to save you money immediately and they're going to make you way more useful immediately so I need to pull up Gemini right here 2.5 pro I'm going to use the advanced feature you don't have to use it if you don't have it but I would suggest that you use it and then the first prompt that I would type in is this I am currently paying for these apps and then you're going to insert the apps that you are currently paying for and these are my favorite features that they have and then you can insert a list of features now you could do this with apps you could do this with softwares you could do this with anything that you're currently paying for and then you're gonna say can you please write me a prompt that I could put into a no code app builder to build me a version of it so that I don't have to pay for it please only focus on the list of features that I put above. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to spit back to you a bunch of different prompts that you can insert right into Firebase in order to build out things that are going to be useful for you. But I wouldn't stop with just this prompt because there's also another one that's going to help you come up with more ideas for things that don't already exist. And that is gonna be using this prompt right here. I want you to help me come up with a list of ideas for an app that I can create that will insert desirable outcome. Can you please keep asking me questions until you have enough context to recommend great app ideas with features that they should have? So I'm gonna put in here, I want you to help me come up with app ideas that I can create that will make me get more views on YouTube. Can you please keep asking me questions until you have enough context? So I'm typing this in and this is going to go through and this is now going to ask me a bunch of questions. This is one of the most underrated ways to use Gemini, to use ChatGPT, to use Grok, to use Claude. Instead of you always giving it information, ask it to ask you questions so you can provide it with the necessary context that it needs in order to give you a really good answer. So what is the main topic of my YouTube channel? I'm gonna say my YouTube channel is about how to grow on YouTube. My target audience is new slash beginner YouTubers and I am creating tutorial videos. Now, this is probably gonna go through and either give me a list of suggestions of different apps that I can make or it's going to ask me more questions. Ideally, what this is going to do is this is going to ask me more questions. So again, what's my experience with programming? I am a no code app developer. I am using Firebase Studio. I want it to be a web app, Google and Android. I am using a no code app to develop it. I need ideas and prompts to put in it. Now, what this is gonna go ahead and do, again, it's either gonna ask me more questions or it's going to give me an output. If it keeps asking you a few questions, don't think that that's annoying because again, it's getting all the necessary information that it needs and then you can see it actually thinking through all of this user summary in order to give a bunch of different ideas and in order to come up with a bunch of different strategies. So if we come over here, we're gonna see that this now gave us a few different app ideas. Beginner YouTubers workflow checklist, that's actually a great idea. I should build that out. The next one here is going to be YouTube video idea generator and planner. Again, a good idea and it literally gives you a bunch of different formats. It gives you a bunch of different things here and different prompts that you can use. Now you can take all this, all these ideas, if you like them or if you don't like them or maybe you like one or two of them, say, hey, I like idea number one, I like idea number three, can you give me more ideas based on that? You're going to then take that, you're gonna bring it over to Firebase and boom, this is gonna help you develop 
some pretty cool apps. Now, in terms of some cool apps that I actually developed that I think are incredibly useful and will get your juices flowing, here's one right here where you literally upload invoice details and then it creates an invoice for you and you could download a PDF. I created another one right here that allows you to enter in a keyword. For example, I'm gonna put in credit repair and then it uses Gemini to build me a list of long tail keywords. Again, this would be useful for SEO, this would be useful for content creation, this would be useful for ideation, anything thing like that. If we come over here, I have another one that this is building out. This is going to be an IQ test because things like this go viral all the time. If you haven't heard of stuff like this before, this goes viral on things like TikTok, on Facebook, on Instagram, and you could basically build up these apps that get a ton of views really quickly. And then what you'll be able to do with that is monetize it by putting ads in here or by putting in different paid features in here. And again, you're going to have to fix the UI of this stuff. The UI isn't perfect, but in terms of functionality, all this stuff is pretty cool. And then if we come into this one right here, this one is a tip splitter. You could put in the bill amount, you could put in the tip percentage, how many people, and it will give you the results of how much each person has to pay and how much you guys should tip based on whatever the check came out to. And again, these are just a few use cases to get your mind going. I would strongly suggest that you use those prompts that I shared with you earlier because I think they're gonna help you come up with great ideas for your specific use cases. Now, like I was sharing with you earlier, if you're stuck on how to actually use these tools for your specific use case, or you wanna learn about new AI tools or even get personalized feedback on exactly what tools you should be using for your specific situation, I strongly suggest you go to that pinned comment below and check out AI Automation School again the special launch pricing ends at midnight tonight. So I strongly suggest you check it out, but for that price increases. And if you haven't already heard about Gemini 2.5's new deep research feature or the other secret feature that they just dropped, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through exactly what that feature is and a bunch of different really cool use cases you could use for it. I'll see you over there.